I've had all the essentials packed for days. Just in case. By the way, these jeans are not my favourite. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Radhika Jones from Time, and we're here with Emma Watson, who's starring in the new movie Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, part one. Thanks so much for being here, Emma. Thank you for having me. Um, so I think we had a record number of questions for you, 1,600. Um, oh my so goodness. we better get started. Wow, that's <laughs> now amazing. we've narrowed them down. Um, I'm going to wow. start with a very girly question for you. You look amazing with the new do. Mm. What made you cut it? Um, I think I just needed a change. You know, I'd, I'd had my hair long for 10 years when I was playing Hermione. And then when I finished filming, I just, I needed to, I needed to do something different. How would you describe yourself before Harry Potter and after Harry Potter? Obviously you've grown. That's a huge question because before I did Harry Potter, I was 10 years old and now I'm 20 years old. So obviously, you know, all the changes that go hand in hand with, um, you know, growing up, physical changes, emotional changes. Um, but in terms of how Harry Potter's affected my life, I've learned how to be an actress. Mm -hmm. You know, I was, as I say, I was so young that um, when I first started out, the director would, you know, literally have to direct me as the camera was rolling, you know, and, uh, and really steer me in a big way. And now I can make my own choices and um, I have my own instincts about it. And I know how a film set runs and works and just, how a movie is made, so I think that's pretty huge. That said, um, Mered Horton from Cary, North Carolina wonders, would you consider a profession outside of acting? I think um, I want, uh, the difficulty with me is that I'm interested in so many different things. I can never really imagine myself doing one thing, mm -hmm. and I'm pretty sure that I'll end up doing four or five different things. I want to be a Renaissance woman, that's my, that's my thing. I want to paint and I want to write and I want to act and I want to just do everything. Why did you choose to attend Brown? Um, because I loved its kind of liberal approach to an education and I loved the sense of community that there is there and the anonymity that I have over in the States. Um, I just think it has just such a great atmosphere I don't know, I just, I really love it. It feels like home now. You're in your sophomore year? Yes. That's great. Um, a question from Tori Daly in Jacksonville, Florida. What was the last day of filming like? It was really emotional. It was, it felt very surreal. It almost felt like an out of body experience because it's, I feel like it's been coming for such a long time and I felt like I'd spoken about it so much and thought about it so much, but when it actually arrived, it just didn't feel real. It was like very hard to process. So it was weird. How much time elapsed between that day and the day you cut your hair? I think I left like two or three weeks. Mm -hmm. um, I needed like enough time to kind of find my feet. And then I was like, right, now I'm ready. It's time. I think you have to be in a really good frame of mind to do something so drastic to your appearance, you know, and I needed to be in a really good place. And, and when I was feeling very confident, I was like, right, I'm going to, I'm going to do it. I'm going to cut it all off. If you could run away from all the bother of being a celebrity mm. for one day, where would you go and what would you do? I guess just like go and stand in the middle of a mosh pit in, the, in, in a rock concert, because I usually can't get away with that because people tend to recognize me and then things get a little crazy. Um, so, you know, just like be in the middle of a big crowd. Yes, and, and just be anonymous. Although it sounds like maybe that's happening a little bit in college. It is actually. College, um, Brown has been amazing. Um, I really get left alone there, so I'm very grateful. Do, have you had to choose a major yet? Yes, I'm majoring in history. Oh, that's great. Yeah, that's I'm great. really excited. Um, one more mm -hmm. from Erica Bode in Arlington, Texas. You had doubts about continuing to play Hermione after the fifth movie was finished. How do you feel your life would have been altered if you had decided not to return for the last three films? I think I probably would have been public enemy number one. <laughs> um, I would not have been very popular. Um, I think I would have... 
I think I would have found it very difficult watching the movies being made without me being part of them. Because I grew up making them, they're like part of, being part of that film franchise feels like part of my identity in a way. Things certainly would have been a little easier, I probably would have got a lot more sleep um, and things just would have been maybe less hectic, but um, I definitely made the right decision. Is there a role you'd really like to play? Um, tons. Which one to choose? I would love to play Juliet in Romeo and Juliet. Well, I hope casting directors are watching yes, and listening. Yes, <laughs> me too. <laughs> so nice to have you here, Emma. Me too. Thank you, Thank so, you so much. much. Thank really you. nice to meet you. I thought you had a plan. I told you everything Dumbledore told me. And in case you haven't noticed, we have found a Horcrux already. Yeah, and we're about as close to getting rid of it as we are to finding the rest of them, aren't we? Ron, please take... Please take the Horcrux. You wouldn't be saying any of this if you hadn't been wearing it all day.